Hello, welcome to our third Economic Development V News. Let's check out all the economic updates and town events happening right here in Enfield. We continue to foster an environment for growth and opportunity by providing new ways to unite our growing business community. In 2015, we continued to strengthen our revitalization efforts right here in Thompsonville, celebrating its unique characteristics and cultivating economic opportunities. We are particularly looking forward to the Thompsonville Transit Center project, which will house a commuter rail station on the line from Springfield to New Haven and points beyond, as well as the Magic Carpet Bus Shuttle and opportunities for bikers and pedestrians. We are also excited to showcase our Business Information Technology Incubator, our BIDI. It's located right here in Thompsonville at Alcorn School. As you can see, the BIDI is a great space, providing a computer lab and resources for the Enfield business community, especially those startups and entrepreneurs. The mission of the BIDI is to be the go-to place for meeting and working space, to provide opportunities and resources, and to provide information technology, advice, and solutions for new and expanding Town of Enfield business owners to succeed in today's connected world. There is room for you to learn and launch right here in Enfield. Right down the road from our biddy is the location of our second annual Community and Farmers Market. This signature event is held each Wednesday afternoon throughout the summer and fall at Freshwater Pond in downtown Thompsonville. The market features local farmers, artisans, crafters, and others from the community. Come and take a tour with me. One of our most popular booths, Farmer Rick, and here he is. Everyone enjoys the fresh produce, and Rick was one of our first farmers on board with our community market last year. Hi, Rick. Hello. How are you? Good. Would you mind telling us a little bit about why you're involved in Enfield's Community and Farmers Market? Well, um, a few years back, I was approached that uh, Enfield needed some support, and uh, being a part of uh, the community is more most important. And uh, it was an honor and a privilege to uh, be part of uh, Enfield and the community. Um, it is extra work for us, yeah. um, but I think the effort is worth it. Great. And uh, I think uh, it's a benefit for not only for the, uh, the people of downtown Enfield, but also for farmers and young farmers to uh, be able to, uh, to see that it's uh, profitable and uh, yeah. it, that uh, the, you know, farmer markets are, are thriving in, 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 in Enfield, and, we, and uh, we need their support. It's great to be here. Great. Thank you so much. Great. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. This is a perfect example of one of our wonderful crafters here at the market. June's knit designs and stuff has been part of our market from year one, and she has beautiful hand-knit crafts such as these whimsical stuffed animals for kids and sweaters for all ages. We're so thrilled to have the kinds of homemade crafters from Enfield and from the region here in our market each week. ran into Ralph Serrato. How are Hi, you, Carson. sir? Good nice to see you. To see you. Yep. Ralph's one of our economic development commissioners. And many of our commissioners and elected and appointed officials join us at the market each week. Ralph, can you tell me what you enjoy the best about our Enfield community market? Well, the big thing, of course, is it's in Thompsonville. And the fact that people are come, coming down to look it over it means they are look, looking at the town of Thompsonville, if you will, the village of Thompsonville. And it's such a great setting, isn't it? It's beautiful. With the pond in the back. And we need to get a few of these buildings up and running, like the Strand Theater, for instance. That's one of our goals, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. So my wife is with me. She's kind of cruising the area. I love it. Yeah. Spending all the money. Well, we will buy something, but we're just kind of good. pricing things out. Sure. It. It's good to cruise it's, up and then come yeah. back down. And yeah. Good. Well, thank you so much for being a part of it and for supporting our market. Enjoy it. Great to see you, Ralph. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We're so 
excited to welcome our youth here today. We've got the Enfield High Raiders cheerleaders. Hi ladies! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today? Um, we are having a make your own candle bar and then if you don't want to make your own candle you can make a donation to help send us to cheer camp. Awesome. Are you seeing a lot of people come over to your booth today? Yes, a lot of people are making donations more than candles. That's great. Now where will you guys be going to camp? Um, nice. Excellent. And you guys will be performing a little later for us? Yes, we will. Great. We look forward to that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Hi Carl, I just wanted to say thank you for Falsetti Music providing live music every week at our community market. Thank you so much for being a part of it from the beginning. Tell us a little bit about why you guys are involved. Oh, it's a pleasure. I mean, we used to have the store here at Enfield. We're still in the local community, uh, still really involved. And it's part of community outreach from we knew the farmer's market was uh, getting started last year that we had a chance to be able to provide live music and almost everybody that plays is a student here at False Eddie Music and so it was just an absolute pleasure for us to do it as long as the weather you know, cooperates we're happy to, happy to be involved. Absolutely, well we really appreciate it and it certainly adds the right ambiance for us so <laughs> thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks. Thanks. We'll be closing out the 2015 community market season on October 14th by hosting our second annual Halloween festival, the Dia de los Muertos celebration. This celebration provides an opportunity for our vendors to share their specialties with the community and a fun time for the entire family with a Halloween theme. Another opportunity for you to visit the community and farmers market vendors will be at as Nuntuck Community College's first annual homecoming fall festival held on Friday, October 16th this year. Our raised bed community garden in Thompsonville was also a huge success this summer. If you want to find out more about being a market vendor or having a raised garden bed in Thompsonville, please visit us at thinkenfield.com. The Hazardville section of Enfield is both an historic gem listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1980 and a revitalization success story. The district has developed its infrastructure to include beautiful streetscapes and accommodate new businesses. The area has socially engaged both its businesses and its residents through its family-friendly events, and we are so excited to take this success story and use its lessons in other areas of town. In the first half of 2015, our business community continues to shine. Following on the heels of Denny's renovations, construction on the new Goodwill building is now underway. As you can see, Starbucks and the Vitamin Store completed construction on their new building here on Elm Street and are open for business. On Enfield Street, two new businesses have opened, Asian Grill and OMI and Oriental Grocery. Additionally, Surtec Medical Devices is in the process of relocating to Enfield. Combined, these new businesses bring approximately 150 new jobs to our community. With these young professionals in mind, a complex of 340 apartment units is currently under construction. Mayfield Apartments has been strategically designed and located to meet the needs of those young professional and even includes garages. Mayfield has completed one of their 10 unit apartment buildings with four more currently under construction. Enfield continues to show investors and developers the real potential the town of Enfield and this region of Connecticut has. There is room to grow and open your business right here in Enfield. Enfield will be holding our first Economic Development Summit hosted by our own Economic Development Commission on Wednesday, September 23rd. Our keynote speaker is Tim Sullivan, Deputy Commissioner of Connecticut's Department of Economic and Community Development. In his role, Tim oversees waterfront, brownfield, and transit-oriented development projects statewide. In addition, we're excited to have an impressive lineup that day for our panels. We're focusing on all of our key industries, advanced manufacturing, healthcare and biomedical, logistics and distribution, and retail. 
The Economic Development Summit, again held Wednesday, September 23rd, will be from 8 to 1 at Manili's Banquet Hall in South Windsor. The event costs $35 to attend and includes all of the sessions and panels, hot breakfast, and salad bar lunch. Head to thinkenfield.com for all of the information and to register today. For more information about all of these exciting happenings and events, visit thinkenfield.com. Sign up today for our e-news. As you can see, the town of Enfield and local businesses are on the move and making things happen. We're here to help you grow and prosper. I'm Courtney Hendrickson, Assistant Town Manager, Development Services, signing off. Thanks for watching. See you in Enfield.